Hey guys, Jeff here with Mad Hatter Organics. On today's how-to episode, I'm going to go over the basics of how to set up a mono tub for mushroom cultivation. Let's get into it. First off guys, I want to give a big huge shout out to ramushrooms.ca on Instagram. He's been hooking me up with these kits for uh, the better parts of uh, about six months now. Uh, I have purchased a couple, but he's also hooked me up huge. Um, super knowledgeable dude, knows his stuff, has a whole whack load of different uh, varieties. And uh, yeah, hit him up for any uh, information you need or, or uh, questions you have. So we'll get started with uh, with our tub. Um, I went ahead and pre-drilled holes into the top and into the sides. Uh, these allow for air exchange. Um, you, the mushrooms, as they grow, they'll create CO2 and they need a, a way of having that fresh air exchange. So yeah, like I said, went, a hole, went, uh, went ahead and cut a couple holes in there. Um, they do come with, uh, these micro or micron filters that, uh, that you'll put over top of those holes. This allows it to breathe fresh air instead of getting any sort of, uh, particles of, of bad bacteria or, or, or anything floating around in the air, basically. Um, I'm not in the, the cleanest sterile environment, so, uh, these things are a must for me. Um, I went ahead and sterilized everything with 99% isopropanol. Make sure you spray everything down and uh, and wipe it all down. Wear gloves and uh, make sure that you're wearing clean clothes. Lots of people prefer to wear um, one of those paint uh, paint body suits, you know. They're, they're, they're sterile and just allows it for, you know, dog hair or whatnot to not fly around. So once I get these damn gloves on, they're a little too small for me, but. All right. So like I said, we'll go ahead and throw these filter on. tops and on the sides. Now this is a very, very basic video, you guys. Uh, I'm not the most experienced with this, but just kind of wanted to, you know, to do a basic beginner setup of a mono tub. Uh, there's lots of other guys that have a lot more knowledge than I do, but I noticed you guys have been hitting me up on Instagram and, and even in my YouTube channel, uh, in the comments asking me all about mushrooms. So thought I'd do a little, little something. So once you get those on, just set that uh, lid aside and the kit will come with a garbage bag. This is just a plastic liner that uh, you drape over inside. Now the reason for this liner is so that uh, the bottom of the substrate um, won't get uh, any source of light or dry out too quick. Uh, it prevents that, that side pinning of the mushrooms and the bottom pinning of the mushrooms. So you, you kind of want to keep everything on the top. So we'll go ahead and line this tub here. Eventually we'll go ahead and cut all this down to along the walls there. So here I have cocoa core or cocoa core manure and um, chopped uh, what was it hay um, 
This is all being sterilized. It's clean, so there's no bad bacteria in this. And uh, and yeah, so we'll go ahead and ISO this whole bag, making sure we're cleaning everything. And wiping everything down. Don't want to introduce any sort of bad bacteria. A little disorganized. Don't have much room to work in here. So once you get that wiped down, you'll grab your wheat, whole wheat grain, uh, inoculated with your spores, your spawn. Um, this variety is RA Penis Envy Plus. So, had this sitting out in the fridge uh, just because I wasn't quite ready to um, get this mixed up and, and ready to go. But uh, that was uh, that was better than any. So, um, go ahead and spray this down, making sure to coat everything, clean it, clean it, clean it. Everything needs to be clean. So once you have everything clean, go ahead and open up your substrate bag and give this a shake. Break everything up. And just go ahead and empty your whole grain spawn into your substrate. Set that to the side. All right, now you want to close this back up. And give this really good mix inside the bag. You want to break up any sort of chunks that are in there uh, so every little bit of this gets inoculated. A few moments later. Alright, I think that's good enough there. So once you have everything mixed up, just go ahead and add it into your tub. Um, making sure to keep your liner in place and uh, spread it out nice and even, flat surface in there. And uh, yeah, let's get over here. Now I'm going to try to do a fun little experiment and uh, actually go straight back into the jar. Um, you know, fill it up maybe two inches or so and uh, see if I can grow something in there. So just grab a handful and fill it up. Well, fill it up two inches. Never done this before. Thought it'd be fun. Yeah, so we'll see if there's uh, if this can get uh, colonized with mycelium and uh, see if we can grow some mushrooms in there. I'll just set that aside. Now all this substrate comes pre pre moistened so it's all it's all nice and moist. I like to kind of build it up along the sides a little bit. It kind of helps with separating from the walls so that it doesn't uh, doesn't get that side pinning. So 
So there you have it. Uh, next step is just to cut down the liner. Uh, you want to make sure that you get just below this filter, uh, allowing for fresh air exchange in there. Now, like I said before, make sure that everything is cleaned with ISO and uh, sterilized. I already wiped these down before so we'll go ahead and uh, yeah just trim this bag down to that proper level 346 minutes later there you have it garbage bag liner is trimmed down maybe clean up this little filter area a little bit here there you go all right so within the next few days uh myceliums should start to form uh, on all these pieces of uh, uh whole wheat grain um, and then eventually the whole top layer will be uh, uh, full of mycelium and considered caked. Uh, you want to store these in a half decent warm place, um, anywhere from 70 to 75 uh, Fahrenheit is optimal. Um, always keep the lid on, make sure that everything is nice and humid inside. If you have to, Get a clean uh, spray bottle with clean RO water and uh, give it a couple mists every once in a while. If it looks like it's uh, maybe losing moisture or, or uh, the, the top layer of that cake isn't, doesn't have a little tiny beadlets of water all over it. Um, so. so we'll go ahead and just uh, throw the, the lid on and... There you have it. We'll wait a few weeks and uh, I actually have a tub already made, uh, caked up and there's a bunch of pins and full grown fruiting bodies right now. So I'll give you guys a sh quick show of that. All right, so this is all mycelium growth. It's considered cake. Uh, all these little tiny little round heads that are popping up those are considered pins and all these are considered full fruiting bodies so as you can see with this one she just opened her veil up there she's just starting to tear open so i'm going to go ahead and harvest that uh, there are a couple in here that are uh, harvestable this one here i harvested yesterday it uh, as soon as i popped that lid off the veil broke and uh and that's kind of usually around the time that you want to uh, harvest. Um, a lot of the time, you you want to save it so that the veil doesn't break. When, uh, when it does, it releases all the spores. It gets all over the rest of the mushrooms inside the tub. Um, it, it creates maybe a little black on some of them. Uh, aesthetically not pleasing. Doesn't affect the potency at all. Um, still going to get good results out of them. So... We'll go ahead and harvest a couple of these and uh, get them in the dryer. Well guys, I hope you learned something with that uh, little demonstration on how to set up a monotub. Uh, it's it's one of those things where I've I've kind of grown to enjoy. It's uh, it's a blast to watch these things grow, um, to what to to be able to harvest them, to be able to get the, the fruits of the labor. Um, yeah, a little difficult at sometimes, but uh, but overall fun. Um, so, yeah, it's. Uh, I hope you guys can pull something away from this. Maybe get started uh, on your own monotub. Pretty uh, pretty simple way uh, of getting uh, mushrooms growing. So, uh, like I said before, guys, uh, please do hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, share to your friends. Uh, Comment also if you feel like I, I might have missed something or or I, I maybe said something in there that uh, wasn't right. Uh, I'm always up for criticism, so 
so I appreciate that uh, also if you guys haven't already uh, come down and uh, down into the description below and hit that discord uh, link uh, I have a discord channel and and you guys are more than welcome to come join it uh, there's there's mushroom talk there's uh, growing talk there's gaming there's everything on there so uh, uh, also I did happen to set up a Patreon account for anyone who wants a, a little extra uh, Mad Hatter uh, content. Uh, hit that Patreon like, uh, uh, subscribe to that maybe. Um, I, I know it's kind of maybe a little selfish on my part. Uh, I'm just just maybe trying to get an extra couple bucks for what I do. Uh, as you guys all know, YouTube does not. Uh, pay out for cannabis content stuff so uh, so yeah uh, with all that being said guys oh.